It is very safe to say that Xbox Game Pass keeps providing us with so many games it's getting incredibly difficult to choose what to play. With a catalogue that now provides us gamers with over £8,000 worth of content over hundreds of games, it's certainly not an easy task. That is why today I will answer that question for you and bring you my curated list of the 50 best Xbox Game Pass games you need to play in 2024. This list is in no particular order, so let's dive straight into these amazing games. First up, we have a fantastic narrative action game known as A Plague Tale Requiem. This game follows siblings Amicia and Hugo, who must look for a cure to Hugo's blood disease in southern France. You will not only have to flee from soldiers of the Inquisition, but also avoid the hordes of rats that are spreading the Black Plague. This game has some outstanding visuals and some of the best available on the Xbox Series consoles to date, but besides this, the game's narrative is fantastic and will really hook you with its intense scenarios. One game that shadow dropped onto Xbox Game Pass during the opening night live at Gamescom this year is the console edition of the fantastic RTS game Age of Empires 4. This new rendition that has been brought over to a console contains all of the base content and DLC and presents it all in a glorious 4K at 60 FPS. Yes. This is quintessentially the best Age of Empires game to date and has a lengthy campaign mode, robust multiplayer suite and amazing controller support. If you love strategy games and building up cities and armies, then this is the one game you will need to play. Now, one indie game on Xbox Game Pass that launched towards the start of the Xbox Series generation was the excellent Death Store. This is a 3D top-down action game where you play as a crow, but everyone refers to you as a reaper. It is your job to travel from the after life to claim the lives of three powerful souls and use them to open a titular door that's been sealed shut. This takes the genetic makeup of a souls-like but steadily increases the difficulty so many gamers can pick up this game with ease. It's a fantastic indie title and one that usually goes heavily under the radar. We had one of my favourite additions that joined Game Pass within the past year and that is the incredible, beautiful and immersive Sniper Elite 5. This is the latest instalment in the award-winning series that brings the return of Carl Fairburn as he fights to uncover Project Kraken in 1944 France. This game blew my mind in terms of visuals and the great addition of players invading your single player matches to slow your progress is such an awesome idea. Definitely an underrated gem that has been slightly forgotten about but well worth a play if you want some stealth action fun. It wouldn't be a list of the best Xbox Game Pass games without mentioning the main man himself and the game that almost defines every Xbox generation. I'm yet to meet a gamer who does not know what Halo is, and that is for a very good reason. With one of the best protagonists in gaming finally returning in this semi-open world adventure, this was always going to be high on any list out there. The story is great and is very highly underrated, the multiplayer is free, and the recent updates by 343 and the inclusion of Forge have made this one of the best multiplayer shooters available on Xbox to date. On the same theme of Halo and the first person genre, we have the funny, unique and quite grim High on Life. This this game comes to us from one of the co-creators behind the popular TV show Rick and Morty and drops players into a universe where an alien mafia are taking humans and smoking them as drugs. This game is outrageous in not only the story but humour, talking guns and combat scenarios. The game is a great laugh and visually has a very unique style and the addition of talking guns really makes it a once in a lifetime experience. It's well worth diving into the game for its comedy alone but the platforming and gunplay is also very well polished. A very cool game that drops dropped onto Game Pass at the start of this year for PC and in August for Xbox Series consoles is the spaceship combat roguelike known as Everspace 2. This is a fast paced single player spaceship shooter with exploration in space and on planets with tons of loot, RPG elements, mining and crafting. Players get to experience an exciting sci-fi story set in a vivid handcrafted open world full of secrets, puzzles and different perils. This is such an awesome game and I've sunk so many hours into it myself and the visuals alone make this game outstanding to play. Just Cause 4 is quite easily one of the best open world games available on Xbox Game Pass to date. This is the latest entry in the popular franchise and again puts us in the shoes of Special Agent Rico who must stop the Black Hand who have taken over your home island of Solace. This game provides us with some chaotic explosive action as to be expected with any game in this franchise and gives us a multitude of transportation, weapons and explosives to traverse this gorgeous open world. With the addition of Torn Tornadoes, the chaotic nature of this game definitely gets turned up to 11, and when you're in the thick of natural disasters and explosions, it really is a sight left behold. Assassin's Creed has provided us with some great titles over the
the past decade, with the likes of Assassin's Creed Black Flag and my personal favourite, Assassin's Creed 3. Now we have a couple of new additions onto Game Pass, but by far my favourite and a fan favourite amongst many is Assassin's Creed Origins. This game really shook up the traditional gameplay nature of the original games and introduced us to the RPG mechanics with enemy levelling, armour, weapons and dropped us into the gorgeous world of ancient Egypt. The story of this game is fantastic and really sets the backdrop for the sand sweat world and Ubisoft really nailed down the RPG elements to create one awesome open world game. Now let's rewind back in time to the glory days of Xbox and back to the Xbox 360. There were so many amazing games and I remember running home from school just to get home to turn on my Xbox. Now this generation has given us backwards compatibility and right now on Game Pass you can get access to the entire Fable franchise. I'm including all these games under one title but these are some of the best RPGs ever made on a console and are incredibly unique in terms of game systems and comedic British writing. If you haven't played Fable, you definitely need to give these games a go, especially as the new game will arrive within the next couple of years. One game that has really shot back onto the scene in a fantastic fashion is Battlefield 2042. We all know how awful this game was on launch, but DICE have honestly shown us that they really do have the experience to bring this experience back to what fans love about the franchise. With the addition of more maps, weapons, vehicles and classes, the game really proves why Battlefield is one of the best experiences for large open warfare. There is a lot of content now on offer and a rather good progression system and Season 6 was a great new addition. If you like fast paced combat with vehicles and many players within one match then you need to dive back into this game. Psychonauts 2 dropped onto Game Pass last year and we finally got to see the masterpiece that Tim Schafer has been working on for years. It is a fantastic game and finally sets us back in the shoes of Raz and lets us explore some wonderful and truly unique trippy worlds. The game got high praise upon release and cannot be recommended enough for being one of the best experiences available on the Xbox Series consoles. If you're a fan of open world platformers and some comedy writing then you need to give this game a go right now. Next up we have the hack and slash online multiplayer phenomenon Chivalry 2. This game came charging out the gates with its incredible PvP action and huge multiplayer battles. I for one was blown away by this game where you could finally wield a sword and battle in huge large scale battles. This game not only requires some skill to master but also teamwork to progress through each objective as some truly great teams can have some very hard lines to battle through. This game really takes the cake for not only being addictive but hilariously stupid as you can use anything on the ground to defeat your foes. If you enjoy large scale battles but want a medieval take then Chivalry 2 is for you. Sea of Stars is a turn based RPG heavily inspired by the classic games of old back in the 90s and early 2000s. It tells the story of two children of the solstice who combine their powers to perform eclipse magic. The developers have modernized a classic RPG in terms of turn-based combat, storytelling, exploration and interactions with the environments and they've really generated one of the best indie masterpieces of 2023. There is a reason it was nominated for so many awards and that's due to the phenomenal storytelling and incredibly deep RPG mechanics. It is quite easy to say but id Software created an absolute masterpiece that is known as Doom Eternal. The franchise reboot back in 2016 was already a brilliant game but Eternal just improved on every single aspect. The glory killing and shotgunning of foes became far more tactical in this entry and ammo counts across the board took a nosedive compared to its 2016 counterparts. There is no other FPS game in the genre that requires split second movements that Doom Eternal does and with its improved story, environments and tougher challenges to complete, Doom Eternal is one of the best shooters on Xbox Game Pass. With our next title, it was a toss up between the first release or the second, and I went for the latter. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is a perfect example of what a platforming game should be in the 21st century. The gorgeous hand-drawn visuals, the excellent tone and story development, and the great combat and movement fluidity all combine to create one of the greats. This is the second installment, so if you haven't played the first, I still recommend doing so, but after playing one of these games, you will feel a sense of storytelling and happiness that many games do not provide. A big surprise this year is the highly rated and outstanding Hi-Fi Rush. We have all seen the media coverage about this game since its release and every Xbox gamer needs to play this game right now. You will follow a young 20 year old called Chai who becomes a defect after a mishap with his arm surgery. You will then follow him around his rhythmic based cartoon inspired world and defeat the evil Megacorp. 
The soundtrack alone is fantastic, especially as it got a game award in this department, but the blend of gameplay, world building and animation make it one of the best Xbox exclusives we've had in years. One game that I enjoyed back on release and have decided to dive back into recently is the excellent Souls-like shooter Remnant 2. This was an amazing surprise drop onto Game Pass for the start of December and I think many were not expecting this gem to be in the service so quickly. This game really shows off why players got a next-gen console as the environments are absolutely stunning and my immediate reaction upon entering a new realm was being left for words. The gunplay and RPG elements are fantastic and really sets the tone for this gritty and dark world. Remnant was always a fantastic franchise and this second entry improves on the prequel in so many amazing ways. You certainly won't be disappointed when playing this game. When I say that the Hitman trilogy are the best games about Agent 47 ever made, that would certainly be telling the truth. This collection is the perfect package that sets gamers loose in massive playgrounds as to truly devilish Agent 47 as he eliminates all of his targets. With the release of Hitman 3, the previous two titles got a huge graphic overhaul that makes these some of the best looking titles available on Xbox. This is a stealth game through and through and really provides you with unlimited options to dispose of your targets. Remember though that if you want to go in all guns blazing you can certainly do that too. Our next title is an indie that captured everybody's heart when it was released and that is none other than Hollow Knight. You may have come across this game with its rage inducing gameplay and safe to say there are many clips out there of gamers getting enraged by playing this game. You may be wondering why this is at the list of the best Game Pass games for that matter but the gameplay loop platforming and varied bosses make the game so addictive and one of the best indie games we have ever seen in years. See, I would be very much discredited if I did not include this next game. So from all my rock and stone brothers and sisters, we have Deep Rock Galactic. The reviews for this game are just absolutely outstanding and really emphasize why this game is a 10 out of 10 experience. I would even say that this game is one of, or if not the best game on this entire list for Game Pass. The fact that you and up to four friends can delve into the depths of destructible and procedurally generated environments whilst defeating waves and swarms of enemies is utterly fantastic and an experience that cannot be missed. One of my favourite arcade racing games on Xbox Game Pass has to be the excellently crafted Hot Wheels Unleashed. Never have I seen so much passion put into a project like this and Milestone have certainly poured every ounce of creativity into this racing game. There is a ton of in-depth detail on every single Hot Wheels car and really captures the authenticity of every vehicle that no doubt most of us have played with when we were kids. The the racing on track is so much fun with some great vehicle handling, awesome wheel to wheel racing and even the chance to find shortcuts to outsmart your opponents. This is easily one of the best arcade races available on Xbox Game Pass so definitely give it a go. Now one game that all surprised us back in 2020 is a Ubisoft's Immortals Phoenix Rising. I think many including myself were surprised to see such an awesome unique experience being made by Ubisoft especially after all of their generic titles over the past few years. This game finally switched up to generic Ubisoft formula by giving players a beautiful mythical world with mechanics similar to what we saw in Breath of the Wild. The map contains a lot of content, the writing is comical and fun to listen to and really brings a spark that is missing in a lot of open world games. If you're a fan of strategy or world building games then you need to try Jurassic World Evolutions 2. I decided to boot up this game over the past couple of months for the very first time and I can see why so many gamers list this as one or if not the best Jurassic Park inspired games on the market to date. There is so much depth to this entry from managing a wealth of different dinos, making sure they're well kept and looked after and even protecting your base of operations from escapes in wild weather. There were so many times that I was on the edge of my seat due to a snowstorm having a T-Rex on the loose and realizing over an hour later that I was still playing this game. I heavily recommend it but be warned it does become a very huge time sink. One game that I play quite a lot on Game Pass is the tactical FPS game known as Insurgency Sandstorm. If you want an online multiplayer experience with in-depth and tactical gameplay and heart-pounding moments around every corner, then I can't recommend this experience enough. As mentioned, this is primarily all online with a mix of both PvP and PvE game modes and will really test your skills in an FPS game. With realistic recoil, damage and an impressive in-game voice chat system, this is one of the best in its genre. Lost in Random is our next game and it's a whimsical gothic adventure that's straight 
out of a Tim Burton movie. It's got a dark, quirky aesthetic, a compelling story, and a unique combat system that has you rolling dice to battle monsters. The characters are charming, and the world is brimming with creativity and imagination. It's not a super long game by any means, but it's packed with enough surprises and twists to keep you hooked. The only downside with this game is that the world does feel a bit small, but overall, Lost in Random is a delightful romp through a truly unique world. I had to include a Need for Speed game on this list, and you may be surprised as it's not Need for Speed Unbound. There is actually one Need for Speed game that is much better in most aspects on Game Pass, and that is Need for Speed Heat. The graphics and the visuals are incredible, and it's really enjoyable to go for a drive around the large open map in your customized cars. It has a decent story if that's what you're looking for, but the main point of this game is enjoying the cars, the racing, and the drifts. I think it's one of the best Need for Speed games we've had in years, and for me personally, is right under Need for Speed Most Wanted that released back in 2005. This next game really surprised a lot of Xbox Game Pass subscribers back in September, and us Xbox and PC gamers got access to the brilliant and souls like Lies of P. This is a dark twist on the story of Pinocchio and drops gamers into the fictional city of Krat, which is not only stunning visually, but incredibly mesmerizing. Lies of P definitely lived up to the high expectations put in place by From Software and has phenomenal graphics and atmosphere, epic boss fights and a great soundtrack and story. If you love Souls-like experiences with some of the best boss fights that rival AAA game studios, then this game is a must-play, especially as it's on Xbox Game Pass. No Man's Sky needs absolutely no introduction, and the work that Hello Games have done to this experience since its release is nothing short of amazing. There are a ton of planets to explore, a massive amount of quests, and hundreds of ships to pilot, and you'll never want to put this game down, especially with the constant great updates. I only recently started playing this game myself within the past year and I always come back to this world due to how expansive and awesome it can get. If you weren't a fan of Starfield's loading screens then give No Man's Sky a go for the seamless interplanetary exploration. Now we all love going on holidays and traveling to new locations we have never seen before and it's astonishing to see the view from outside the windows when you're up in the air. Flight Simulator arrived onto the Xbox Series consoles and is a masterpiece visually and technologically. You can choose to fly in a multitude of different planes across a full scale and beautifully rendered earth with heavily realistic weather effects from hurricanes to snowstorms. The fact you can choose any location such as the Himalayas or the beautiful Caribbean Sea, it really is jaw dropping and shows off the power of the Xbox Series consoles. Sobo did a fantastic job and I cannot recommend this experience enough just to see it all in action. Now, Planet of Lana was a game that I was incredibly hyped for last year. This is a cinematic puzzle adventure game with some of the most gorgeous visuals you have ever seen in an indie title. You take control of a young girl with her loyal friend and essentially embark on a rescue mission. There is a massive faceless army that is bringing disharmony to this beautiful and vibrant planet and it's your job to find out why and stop the war. This vibrant and gorgeous title came out earlier last year to some fantastic reviews and is now a must-play title for any Game Pass subscriber or Xbox owner. One indie that released towards the start of 2023 was the lovely Ravenlock. Coco Cucumber provided us with great experiences already on Xbox and Game Pass in the form of Echo Generation and Riverbond. And Ravenlock certainly lived up to the high praise of these previous titles. This is an action-adventure RPG where players will embark on an action-packed fairy tale adventure about a young heroine destined to fulfill a perilous prophecy. You will have to battle monsters and bosses with real-time combat in a 3D pixel art aesthetic world plagued by the sinister darkness of a tyrannical queen. It's not a long experience by any means with it taking approximately 6-8 to eight hours, but is a great indie and well worth playing today. Our next game is one that you've probably heard of by now and is one of the best arcade racing games ever made, and that is Forza Horizon 5. The vast expanse of Mexico has been lovingly crafted by the team over at Playground Games and is absolutely stunning whether you decide to take this journey. The game has been out for a little while now and got glowing reviews for its outstanding visuals, great driving mechanics, and incredibly fun gameplay loop. Personally, I got so hooked on the game at launch and still decide to revisit the game when the new DLC launches. This racing game really solidifies Playground Games as the masters of this genre. It takes two one game of the year back in 2021, and it's truly the best co-op experience we have ever seen and really provided a benchmark for the genre of game. You will play as the clashing couple Cody and May, who are two 
two humans that get turned into dolls by a magic spell. Together, trapped in a fantastical world where the unpredictable hides around every corner, they are reluctantly challenged with saving their fractured relationship. This adventure is so well done from the beautiful scenery to the unique boss battles, and there are so many different puzzles and every level requires different types of thinking. This game is a roller coaster of emotions, and the game itself is definitely worth the price of admission. Next, we have one of my favourite Star Wars games to have ever graced the gaming sphere, and that is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. With its sequel that came out last year, you will need to play this game if you haven't had the chance already. In this game, you take control of a brand new Jedi Padawan who narrowly escaped the purge of Order 66 following the events of Episode 3. You will go across the galaxy to rebuild the Jedi Order as well as rediscover your entire shattered past. This story is one of the best told in the Star Wars universe, especially in rounds of gaming, and I think many are with me when saying you need to play this game before you try Jedi Fallen Survivor. Now, if you grew up in the 90s or love beat em up games, then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is one game you need to dive into. When playing Shredder's Revenge, you will notice everything in this game is made in homage to Turtles in Time, without adding anything to attract the wider audience. Virtually every TMNT bad guy makes an appearance in this game, and it's a massive hit of nostalgia for a lot of fans. This allows you to play with six player co op, and allowing people to play as April, Splinter, and Casey Jones is also a huge bonus. If you're itching for some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or a great, well polished beat em up game, then this is the one for you. An indie third party exclusive, which still doesn't get enough attention to this day, is the brilliant The Last Case of Benedict Fox. You will descend into a limbo of decaying memories as Benedict Fox, who is a self proclaimed detective bound to his demon companion. Not only only will you explore the minds of the recently deceased in search of clues, but you'll also have to uncover the mysteries of a massive decrepit mansion, which is the site of a young couple's grisly murder. The game is definitely worth trying out, especially if you love the Metroidvania and Lovecraftian genre. The unique art style is phenomenal, the voice acting is exceptional, the music and the sound effects are so well done, but what truly stands out are the story twists and puzzles. The Outer Worlds graced us all when it was released back in 2019, and again is another time title from the so well known Obsidian. We have all seen the masterclass that was Fallout New Vegas, and this title certainly takes the best bits of Obsidian's world building and puts it into a whole new unique experience. You will explore a space colony where your character will determine how this player driven story unfolds. You can expect a multitude of choices, dialogue options and endings, and no way is one playthrough enough to experience this full game. If you love games like Fallout, then you will no doubt fall in love with this masterpiece. Believe it or not, many Xbox gamers are yet to experience this next title, and that is one of the best exclusives to ever grace the Xbox One era of consoles. Sunset Overdrive. This was the last title brought to us by Insomniac, and wow did it blow us all away with its crazy combat, incredible sense of humour and parkour moves. This is a world where people have been turned into essentially zombie alien hybrids due to a, a toxic energy drink. This is not a plot many would have expected, but the game is so vibrant and over the top, which makes it such an awesome experience. One game that has been a big success on Xbox Game Pass that launched last year is the great multiplayer experience, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is another horror title being taken by the popular asymmetrical multiplayer genre. This game is developed by Gun, who were the people behind the Friday the 13th multiplayer game, so they definitely have the experience within this space. With this game, you will play as either the survivors or as the disgusting family, including Leatherface himself. The game has been widely popular due to the intense gameplay and awesome amount of content to offer, and it's easily one of the best multiplayer offerings available on Game Pass. The original Titanfall is quite simply a masterpiece, and the sequel simply polished what was already an often overlooked diamond and improved it in so many ways. Of particular note is Titanfall 2's campaign, weaving a compelling story around a pilot and his Titan in an exceptional piece of storytelling by Respawn. The other main highlights include Titanfall 2's well-crafted weapon sandbox and smooth as butter traversal mechanics that make the movement itself as fun as the gunplay. Don't forget this game also has an awesome multiplayer suite which has a large amount of content and recently with the servers being fixed last year, this is now the best time to dive in for some fast paced action. Now, Ghost Recon Wildlands is a true gem, and is easily one of the best Ubisoft games to have ever been released. A huge open world of Bolivia is a stunning backdrop with huge snowy mountains to desolate salt plains, and really gives you the freedom to explore and combat any insurgents you come across. This game is a PvE focused military tactical FPS, where you assume the role of special forces operators known as ghosts. You can explore either alone or with up to 
three other friends, and there is certainly a large swathe of content to delve into. This is easily one of the best third person shooters on Xbox Game Pass, and will provide you with some very intense combat encounters. One game taking the world by storm at the start of 2024 is the incredible Pow World. Many take a look at this game and think it's Pokemon with guns, and even though that is partially correct, it also has so much more depth. Think of games like Ark, Zelda, Pokemon, and combine them all together, and you have a one-of-a-kind experience that has probably one of the most addictive survival gameplay loops ever seen. To give a very brief overview, you are dropped onto a mysterious island where the monsters, known as pals, are roaming free, and it's up to you to survive by building bases, capturing and taming pals, and then taking on the villains who are using pals for no good. I have put in 30 hours already myself since the game launched into early access, and this could easily be my favourite game on Game Pass currently. A game that is incredibly popular to this day and still surprises many who have not put their hands on it is the glorious Vampire Survivors. If you have not somehow heard about this game, then really where have you been? You certainly can't let the simplistic art style sway you away from playing this gem because I did and I live to regret it. This is one of the best survival roguelikes that I've ever played and the amount of depth given in this indie title is absolutely phenomenal. There is a very addictive gameplay loop and you will easily easily sink in hours without realising where the time has gone. For such a low cost of entry, this is easily one of the biggest surprises that came out of 2022. We now have a pretty awesome game that I've been addicted to lately and have been watching many many content creators in this space. If you love pirating and causing mayhem in a large open world of ships and islands, then Sea of Thieves is the game you need to play. Coming from Rare, the masterminds behind Banjo-Kazooie, this game is a unique one-of-a-kind pirate experience and the best implementation of a PvE and PvP world that I've ever seen. With a multitude of quests, ship drinking and grog drinking, you should definitely set sail on the Sea of Thieves. Hellblade is an incredible experience and I really don't think much else needs to be said. Every gamer so far has heard of this game and is simply one of the best narrative experiences to ever grace the gaming stratosphere. This game puts you in the shoes of Senua as she delves into the depths of Helheim to save the soul of her dead lover. The unique premise in this game is the ability to portray psychosis in such a perfect way and really makes players understand the mental illness in a way not yet seen before. This game is best played with headphones and many gamers including myself make this a must play. Roll on Hell Blade 2 when it arrives on May 21st of this year. If you ever wanted a Souls-like experience but set in the Dynasty Warrior universe, then you need to try Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. This was a big surprise coming from Team Ninja and was an excellent experience when it launched earlier in 2023. Being able to jump into the Dynasty Warriors universe and fighting the likes of Guan Yu to Lu Bu, I was awestruck throughout every single boss fight. The story is a dramatic action-packed experience of a nameless militia soldier, fighting for survival in the dark fantasy version of the later Han Dynasty. It really nails the setting that we have come to know and love from the previous game in the franchises, and you really need to try this experience. I had to include probably one of the biggest surprise hits of 2022, but to be fair, I don't think many ever expected Obsidian to miss. Pentiment is a one-of-a-kind game with its medieval manuscript-style visuals and over-the-top but hilarious humour. I don't think many of us saw a project coming out of Obsidian such as this, especially with the game looking so simple simplistic in nature. Through this experience, you will take control of Andreas Maller, who is a master artist who finds himself in the middle of murders, scandals and an intrigue in the Bavarian Alps. The user scores really don't lie with how great this game is, and I can say from personal experience that this is one game that you need to play. It sells is our next title, and it is a roguelite Metroidvania inspired action platformer. You'll explore a sprawling, ever-changing castle, assuming you're able to fight your way past its keepers in 2D Souls-like combat. There are are no checkpoints so you will have to kill, die, learn and repeat and the game has been an overwhelming hit since its release and it does still get regular updates to this day. Well it's quite easy to describe this next game. Gears 5 is essentially the metro exodus of the Gears of War saga and provides us with all new open world segments while retaining what made the past games so much fun. There is still so much of the frenetic action, amazing scripted events, interesting twists and split scene co-op which you have come to love with this franchise. Make no mistake though, this is truly a AAA Microsoft game, which on top of having a worthwhile campaign to play through, it also includes a suite of multiplayer modes which are still great to jump into right now. I cannot wait to see if we get a Gears 6 soon, but Gears 5 is one game I cannot recommend enough 
for new Game Pass subscribers. What is your favorite game on Xbox Game Pass right now? Let me know down below. And do consider subscribing for more Xbox content every single day. Whilst here, check out the video on screen now of the 20 best single player games on Xbox Game Pass that you can play right now.